overly concerned. And like his legal team was a shit show looking that deep into these things. But let's would expect if somebody was in the car, would kind of expect his fingerprints to be like on the door. If it's a if it's an outside party or Jay, I agree with you. In trays in Delaware. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm about to head to work soon. Just wanted to show you my outfit. This top is from H&M. Jeans are the dad jeans. I believe that's what they're called. From Abercrombie. Steve Madden sandals. They're so, 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 so comfy. So yeah, I'm basically all ready to go. I just want to make myself an iced latte to bring with me because I have some extra time. And I got espresso pods for my Nespresso machine, so that makes it super easy. Normally I will make espresso on the stove. I have one of these things, but these are nice because if I just want to make like one cup, it's faster, less cleanup, etc. I have an ice maker in my freezer but it has never worked since i moved in here i've tried messing with it so many times i think that there's probably like a hose that got disconnected or something but i don't know it just hasn't been like a priority i just keep like forgetting and putting off putting a work order in for it but i should do that this week and i'm gonna put this pumpkin spice latte concentrate in there. Just a little bit and some half and half. I've been feeling really good lately. I'm really enjoying my schedule. I feel like I finally found a good like work-life balance between all of the jobs and things I have going on. So as you could tell, hopefully, I've been vlogging and posting more consistently and it feels good to be like back in a flow and be like on top of things you know look how good that looks and i'm sorry nespresso coffee is just always the best like the foam that it makes it's just so good the one i have by the way because i know i get questions is the virtuo and i love it because it's like doesn't take up too much space on my counter it makes espresso coffee but also regular like full-size cups as well not sponsored by nespresso i wish i was so yeah here's my little ice latte just one double espresso pod i did the scuro this one right here one of those half and half and the pumpkin spice concentrate which I got at Target. Normally I get these at Walmart, but my Walmart at least didn't have the pumpkin spice flavor. So I found that at Target. Or you can order online, I'm sure. Amazon probably has it. Oh my God, it's so good. It literally tastes just like a Starbucks. So yeah, this morning I am going into the salon. I have a hair client. She's getting highlights. I think it's just a highlight touch up. She just called the salon as like a new client wanting an appointment so i don't know her don't really know who she is i just kind of talked to her on the phone but she said that it's just a touch-up that she needs it should be a fairly quick and easy appointment and then i believe i have to text him and just double check my brother has been talking about coming down here to visit me this weekend originally because he's a welder so he travels a lot for his work he works as like an independent contractor and he just kind of goes like wherever he's needed wherever there's jobs there was supposed to be a job that he was going to do in charlotte which is like a couple hours away from me so he was going to come down here spend the weekend with me and then drive to the job monday morning but i think now the job like got pushed back or something so he's not sure if he's actually going to be doing the job at all anymore but he said that he still wanted to come down just to visit so i think he's still coming but if he does he won't end up getting here until later tonight um because it's like a nine to ten hour drive so yeah i need to check in with him see if that's still happening which i kind of hope he does that would be fun i haven't seen my family in like two months and he hasn't been down here to visit me, I want to say, since last winter. Like, he was here in March. I think that was the last time 
he came here. And at that point, I had only been living down here for three months. I wasn't like as familiar with the area, but obviously now at this point, I've been here for almost a full year. So there's just so much more that I know about that I would love to take him to. But I'm gonna grab all my stuff and head out the door. Since I don't have technically like a permanent station at the salon, I've just been bringing all of my stuff with me. My client is at 10 o'clock, which I've been loving. Like that's what I've been doing every Saturday that I have a client. I've been scheduling them at 10. It's still like early enough in the day that I can get done pretty early and still have most of my Saturday, but it's late enough in the morning that I can still, like I got up at seven and I was able to have my morning coffee and just relax and watch some YouTube videos and take my time getting ready, listen to a podcast, take the dog for a walk. I didn't have to be rushing out the door as soon as I got up, you know? I will try to get a few clips at the salon and I will see you later. So my client this day just came in for a touch-up. It had been a few months since she last got her highlights done. As you can see, it's pretty grown out. She's got a significant amount of roots. So I just did a full TZ light foil on her. My formula was equal parts 9P and 9N from Rankin Shades EQ with just a little splash of 9T. She said she wanted a really icy, cool tone blonde, but she still wanted it to be bright. So that's how her hair turned out it was super beautiful she just has like such nice long thick hair oh and we also added a little bit of face frame and long layers that went super well it was a really good day my client was an absolute sweetheart angel she was so nice and she's not originally from this area so she had been going to the same hairdresser for years and years and years and this was her first time going to someone new and I love that because it's like I don't know like I love having new clients and like gaining their trust and because like client consultations are so important to me like I really take that seriously like really listening to a client and asking them a ton of like really important questions that they maybe aren't used to being asked when they get their hair done. Like, do, how often do you wear your hair pulled back? Do you want to see highlights around your face? Do you want to see them in the back? Also, like all around your hairline, how often do you normally like to come in for a touch up? If we're cutting face frame pieces or like long bangs or something, like do you want them to still be long enough that you can tuck them behind your ears? Do you, like, what do you do for a job? Like, is it going to be annoying having, like, hairs falling in your face and your eyes? You need your hair, like, out of your face. Stuff like that. It's important to me to not only give my clients beautiful hair, but hair that's, like, very custom to them and that is going to work best for their lifestyle and, you know, what they like and all of that. I love it. I'm happy to be doing hair again because I really, really love it. I love this job so much, but it's like, I don't know. It's one of those things where you have to be really careful because it's so easy to get burnt out, but it's been going well. And my body, if you saw the vlog when I, like the first day that I was back doing hair, my body was killing me afterwards. My upper back is still kind of sore. Not gonna lie. Although I did order a massage gun this morning from Amazon. So that'll be nice to have, but other than that, I feel really good. Like, my wrists haven't been hurting me. Like, I, I think it was just my body kind of went into shock a little bit that first day. But now I'm feeling good. And I'm used to it again. And it's all good. So, anyway, it is 2.20 now. I finished at, like, a little after 1. But I decided to just kind of hang out with the front desk girl. Poured myself a mimosa while I edited some of the photos that I took and I wanted to post on Instagram and stuff. Sometimes I feel like it's just better for me to do that before I leave the salon because then once I get home I have a bunch of other stuff you know like to distract me and I might forget or just not feel like it so try to just get that done before I leave that way I'm like totally done for the day. Being in a new area I especially like I need to kick it into high gear 
when it comes to like self-promotion so i'm like back to square one pretty much and i'm doing like all the same stuff that i did when i was like still in beauty school and like fresh out of school every client i you know ask can i get before and after photos for instagram i show them the pictures and i'm like hey here's my instagram if you want to follow me so you can see the pictures i post and that way if you want to ever rebook you know you can just reach out to me directly make it easier da 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 and um that's just a great way to grow a following because like even if somebody comes to you and they loved the experience they loved their hair following you on social media and having that connection makes them feel even closer to you because then they're going to be following you they're going to be seeing your posts they're going to kind of get to know you a little bit more and it's also so much easier for them that way to share with their friends and family like yeah word of mouth is great oh i went to so and so at this salon but if they actually have your social media and they can just show people your work and your page and like how to get in contact with you it's so much easier and i feel like it increases the chances of them actually reaching out to you and i feel like you'll just get people that are like super loyal to you that way okay i'm gonna go home now oh my brother texted me he definitely is coming he said he's on his way that was around 11 o'clock so he should get here by like eight or nine so yeah i don't know what our plan is gonna be for the weekend or what we're gonna get up to but i'll try to vlog as much as i can good morning it's currently monday my brother got here saturday night i honestly just kept forgetting to vlog but he's been here for a little over 24 hours saturday night when he got here i was so tired we just hung out at home watched netflix and then yesterday we went out a little bit just went to a couple little bars had some drinks bounced around we sat outside by the marina had some margaritas it was really nice and it was a really beautiful day um and then we walked around downtown i just showed him like you know all the fun spots because like i said the last time that he was down here was in March and I was still super new to the area and I hadn't really like done that much exploring yet at that point. So yeah, I just kind of gave him like the downtown tour and then we went back to the apartment and we just hung out there the rest of the day, um, just played music and he helped me hang up a new little coat rack thing that I got and then we tried the Da Bomb Beyond Insanity hot sauce from the show Hot Ones. I had been wanting to try it because that's supposed to be like one of the hottest hot sauces. It was hot. It was definitely hot. I just pulled up to the nail salon. It's time for a nail fill, which I'm actually kind of sad about because I really, really loved these nails a lot. I have been getting nonstop compliments on them, but they're getting pretty grown out. As you can see, it's been three weeks. So I'm gonna go get them done. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do. I came a little early so that way I can sit and have time to look through all the colors. And then right after my nail appointment, I have a lash fill because they're looking a little rough my brother is just home with benny he said that he might go to the beach um and just take benny there for a walk while i'm out and then i don't know what our plan is going to be for later when i get home i'm going to go into my nail appointment i'll see you guys later lashes are filled and here's my nails oh this lighting sucks let's see <laughs> there they are decided to go with a nice neutral i don't know the name of this color i'm very sorry all i know is it was number 88 <laughs> now i'm gonna head home and i kind of just feel like hanging out at home and having a chill day so that's probably what i'm gonna do I can show you guys this because by the time 
this vlog goes up, I should have already announced it, but we got merch for the podcast. How cute. This is just like one of the pieces. A cropped hoodie, which, oh my god, it's so soft. It feels like such nice material. And it looks so good. Ah! Yay! If you didn't know, I have a podcast with one of my best friends called Girls Who Get It Podcast. And we took a little bit of a break so we could do like a relaunch and come back for a season two. And part of that is we're going to have video episodes. I will put a link to our YouTube channel. We don't have any videos up on it just yet, but just so you guys can subscribe to it and turn the notifications on and already be following ahead of time so you don't miss it when we do post. We'll be posting in January. That's the plan. So yeah, I'll put a link to our YouTube channel in the description. And we do have a bunch of episodes already on Apple Podcasts and Spotify that are just audio only. But if you haven't listened to them, it's like a girl chat podcast. It's super Super fun I love doing it and it's just like really casual laid back but we're also coming out with merch so this is one of the samples I made all of the designs myself but I wanted to see how they actually looked printed on the pieces and I wanted to actually feel the quality of the clothes too just to make sure that like everything is up to our standards before we actually like make it live and start selling everything. We're only gonna release like a few at a time so that way we can have like our fall and winter launch now and then we can do like a spring launch later on. But it is currently Thursday afternoon. I am about to go work at the salon. Just doing front desk, no clients today. I'm sorry I haven't really been vlogging much this week. I've been working the last few days so it's just been kind of boring and there's not really anything to vlog like my brother's just kind of been hanging out at the apartment and the weather's been crappy so we haven't like really done anything I don't think he's even gone out like while I'm at work he's just been hanging out with Benny and I think he's just been like playing video games and like watching YouTube videos and stuff and then when I am home with him we've been watching a bunch of movies and stuff not really anything to vlog and I'm also just trying to like be in the moment with him I'm gonna go to work now I washed my hair earlier and I put a conditioning treatment in it and just clipped it up because we have a new assistant at the salon that is in the process of practicing she's still in school at the moment so they just want to make sure that she's able to like shampoo and blow dry and style and stuff at a level that is like to their standards you know before she actually starts working on clients so I volunteered I said she can shampoo and blow dry my hair anytime if she wants so I figured I would just leave the mask in my hair and not bother styling it that's the update how cute are these sunglasses by the way i just got them from amazon they came in a two pack and i think it was like 18 bucks for the two of them and the second pair are identical but the lenses are like a yellowy orange color and sweater is from lauren conrad's line from kohl's it's several years old but that's where it's from. I gotta go now. I uh, will catch up with you later. I just got home and I'm trying on the merch pieces. Oh, and here's how my hair turned out. She did a really good job. I was a little bit nervous because my hair is naturally curly and I've had like beauty school girls or newer stylists blow out my hair in the past and it was very, very frizzy, but she did a really good job and I'm just relieved that now I don't have to do it. But here's the cropped hoodie. It's so cute, I'm so happy with it. It's so soft, it's like such nice, high quality material and it's like the perfect cropped length like it's not too cropped and it's just so cozy oh i love it i'm pretty sure actually by the time this vlog is up this stuff will already be available so i'll put a link to the merch shop in the description 
if you would like to shop it. And then this is the second item. I got this, the cropped hoodie, by the way, I got in a medium. And then this I got in an extra large so that it would be like a comfy sleep shirt that I could just wear like almost like a t-shirt dress. It says, I'd rather be listening to the Girl Chat podcast, Girls Who Get It podcast, hosted by Sam and Julia with new episodes every Thursday. It's just supposed to be like, a stupid funny thing but I'm gonna wash my face and get ready for bed and then just hang out the rest of the night see if my brother wants to like watch a movie or something I'll see you in the morning brother and I were just out and about today we went and got brunch and then we did a little bit of shopping nothing crazy we just went to H&M and Bath and Body Works and then we went to the beach for a little bit just kind of walked around went on the pier it was a really nice day but we're back now and from H&M all I got was this crew neck sweater I got two other ones of the exact same crew neck in different colors a few weeks ago and I love them. They are so comfy and so soft and they're only $15, which is amazing. So I get an extra large so that it fits super, super oversized. And then from Bath and Body Works, I got a bunch of candles, some more wallflowers, and I had a coupon for a free body care item. So I got the coffee and whiskey scented body wash. I have a candle in this scent. I think I got another one actually because it smells so good. I love it. Then I got Under the Christmas Tree. Yep, I got another coffee and whiskey candle. Then I got Smoked Vanilla Whiskey. It reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside, but slightly less marshmallow and more fireside. And the last one I got is Tree Farm, which I got the last couple years in a row and I, oh, I just love it. So good. And then for wallflowers because I put two out in like my kitchen living room like main area and then one in the bathroom so for out in the main area I got smoked vanilla whiskey and then for in the bathroom I got after dark that was everything I got while I was out <laughs> good morning it's Saturday I'm on my way to the salon I have one client today and it's freezing outside. Well, my car says it's 48 degrees, but you know, for down south, that is freezing. Like I woke up and all of the cars and the grass and everything was like frosted over. I will see you at the salon. So this client had came in for a color correction and the backstory with her hair was she had bleached it at home and it was left this really brassy gingery color and pretty damaged. So she ended up going to a salon in her area for a color correction. Her goal was to have a balayage, something natural and pretty that would just grow out nicely. And the stylist she went to didn't feel comfortable bleaching her hair any further, which I totally don't blame her for. So she decided to do a reverse balayage instead. So that's what we were starting out with. It was the result of at home bleaching that she had done herself with damage and a lot of brassy unevenness, plus some demi permanent low lights that were added to her hair. As you can see, her haircut was also quite uneven and choppy. There were a lot of layers in there that were just kind of like done out of necessity, I'm assuming because of the damage she had. So before I even had a specific game plan in mind, I wanted to do a few test strand pieces to see what her hair could withstand. So I just did nine volume developer with some lightener. I left it on for just a few minutes while we talked a little bit and looked over some inspiration photos. And as you can see, she actually lightened pretty nicely. These pieces in the front, I went over the low lights to see how that color would come out and it seemed 
Like it was all good and her hair actually was strong enough. You could see that was our inspiration photo, not for the actual color and the tones itself, but as far as placement. I think it's so important when you are doing your consultation to look at inspiration photos that are going to be the same length. A lot of the inspiration photos she had sent me before she came in were of long hair, which isn't very helpful because obviously it's, you know, the color is going to look different on long hair versus on short hair, which her hair was already short. I knew we were going to have to cut it more in order to even out her haircut and remove any of the previous damage she had. I could see from the long hair inspiration photos, okay, that's the tone you like, perfect. But now what placement do you like? That's really important. So make sure you're looking at many different inspiration photos so you're really clear with your client and you're getting on the same page with them as far as what you know, you're looking to achieve. So from here, I went through and I did a few TZ lights. I only used six volume developer so that way it wouldn't lift too quickly. I would rather do something really, really low and gentle and let it just sit and keep watching it than have it lift too fast and over process the hair, especially because her hair was pretty fragile and had already been through so much. Luckily, her hair just happens to be like pretty thick and strong and can withstand a lot and she has a lot of it so we lucked out that's not going to always be the case for everyone that's why doing a test strand first is so so important and you want to do the test strands on multiple areas of the head because the back might be strong and okay but maybe the front's more fragile and can't handle lightning then everything that i left out of the foils i painted a base color and I wanted a color that was going to be pretty close and match her natural. So I was using a cream demi-permanent color by L'Oreal. And I did 5.13, which is like a cool tone chocolatey brown. And I mixed just a little bit of 634 in there just to add a little bit of a filler because I knew her hair was so porous. So I didn't want it to come out muddy. And I decided to just go with a level five, even though her natural is probably more of like a four because I knew, again, her hair so porous, it was going to suck up that color and I knew it was going to come out a little bit darker. So that's what I used for that. You can see the highlights were processing really beautifully. I made sure to keep checking every few minutes. I kept checking those foils. I did not put any heat on her while she processed. And then once a section looked like it was done processing, I rinsed it out. This was what her natural lift looked like after I rinsed all the foils out. And you can see it actually came out really nice. So for her highlight toner, I did 8GI with equal parts 9GI and 9GB. She wanted a really cool, icy, ashy blonde, but I knew, again, because her hair was so porous, that it was going to suck everything up. And if I used an ashy toner on her, it was going to come out silver and muddy. So that's why I actually used a good amount of gold. And you'll see the final product. It actually came out more cool toned than you would have expected. So this was her final hair. And I just love the like beigey tone of the highlights. I feel like with such a dark base that looks more flattering and more natural. And I did her haircut, as you could see, evened everything out, blended those layers more. And I was so happy with her finished hair. She was very happy as well. Honestly, this was the best case scenario. Honestly, I just got lucky that her hair was able to handle everything that we did to it. In a lot of cases, that's not going to happen. So just keep in mind, if your hair looks similar to her starting point, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can get the same after that she had. It really just depends on what your hair can handle and how much it's already been through. Are you sad? Uncle Nick left? Good morning. Oh my God, I'm looking rough. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because, oh my God, I obviously just got out of bed, if you can't tell. It's eight in the morning, it's Monday. My brother just left. I meant to wrap up the vlog Saturday after my client. Oh, because my battery died, so I couldn't. That's what happened. I'm actually looking forward to cleaning up because, I don't know, whenever I have people over, it's just hard to like, especially because I have such a small apartment, it's hard to really keep things tidy. So I'm going to do my usual Sunday cleaning 
today. And then I really want to decorate for Christmas. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so I can do my cleaning and shower, finally wash this hair, and we'll do some Christmas decorating in the next vlog. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to check the description for all the links to my podcast stuff. I appreciate you guys so much for all of the love and support. I will see you in my next one. Bye.